Today we'd like to understand verse number 2 to verse number 5 of Surah Al-Baqarah. Verse number 2, Zalik Al-Kitab Al-Ariwafi, this is the book of God, there is no doubt in this. Zalika indicates the greatness of the book, the esteem that it is a book of God. Zalika Al-Kitab, this is not an ordinary book, it is a book of God. It alerts the reader that you be mentally prepared to face God who is addressing you in this book. La Riba Fi, there is no doubt in this that it is a book of God. Number two, there is nothing to doubt about the accuracy of anything mentioned in the Holy Quran. And importantly, Quran is the only book which in the very beginning itself proclaims that it is a book of God. There are so many religious scriptures in the world. No religious scripture claims to be the book of God. And this is a challenge also. Now, the purpose of this book is Hudal Lil Muttaqeen. It is the book of guidance for only those who are righteous, pious, those who are God conscious. So Muttaqeen means the one who guards his tongue, his hand, his heart from all the evils, from all that which is forbidden by God. Huda is guidance, the light, the straight path of God. Al Lazina Yu Minuna Bil Ghaib. Those who believe in Bil Ghaib, the unseen, that which you cannot see, that you cannot grasp through all your five senses. Human senses have limitations, restrictions. Beyond those, these five senses, we cannot see anything, we cannot realize anything. So, those who believe in what is unseen, for them, the Quran is a guide. It is not a guide to anybody who is not willing to accept the unseen. So, which is Ghaib? God is unseen. You cannot see God, so you have to believe in God. There is a God. Unless you believe in God, you can't benefit from Quran. You have to believe in angels. You have to believe in the day of judgment. You have to believe in heaven, hell, or the life after death. All that you can't see and it is not possible to see. So Quran benefits only those who are willing to accept what is unseen as true. Then, وَيُقِيمُونَ salat. Those who establish prayer. Establishing prayer is not performing prayer. There is a difference. Quran has always used the word Yuqimunus Salat or Aqimus Salat. Establish prayer. Establishing prayer means number one, you to pray collectively in a congregation. Establish congregational prayer. Number two, you have to pray humbly. You have to pray with full concentration. You have to pray sincerely for God alone. And you have to pray according to all the rules and regulations, conditionalities, obligations about the prayer. Then who can benefit from the Quran? Those who spend from what God has provided to them or for them. God has provided you wealth. You spend from your wealth to those who are needy, those who are poor, those who are lowly placed. Now the spending is not only money or wealth but also the other intangible gifts of God like your talent, wisdom, etc. that you utilize for the benefit of mankind. You can certainly get guidance from the Holy Quran. Then here another condition Quran puts to seek guidance from it. Those who believe in this Quran which is revealed to Prophet Muhammad and all the scriptures revealed before Prophet Muhammad to other prophets like Jesus, peace be upon him, or Moses, or David, or other prophets. So all those scriptures revealed by God to the prophets of God you have to believe in all, without prejudice, without discrimination. So Islam teaches here that you should not discriminate between other prophets or other scriptures which are revealed by God. So the condition of Quran to benefit is you have to be broad minded to believe in not only Muhammad and the Quran but also all the other scriptures to be truly revealed by God. This is a condition. Then the last one, Ula'ika ala hudam mir rabbihim wa ula'ika humlu muflihun those are the people who are truly guided and they derive gu guidance from the Lord and they are the people who are successful. So the last verse, verse number 5, it indicates that if you fulfill all these six conditions, what is that? You observe taqwa, piety, righteousness, that you believe in the unseen, the established prayer and you spend from whatever given to you and then believe in this Quran and also other scriptures revealed to other prophets and and 
believe in the akhirah after life the day of judgment the day of resurrection when everybody will be resurrected we will die the whole world will be destroyed and afterwards qiyamah the day of judgment will be established on that day of judgment there will be resurrection all will be again god will put to life all the human being from first day to the last day and they will have to be accountable before god for all those acts of omission and commission whatever they did wrong or right for everything they have to be accountable whatever they did in this world that is the true faith they have to believe like to be true yakin yakinun yakin means believe firmly certainly these are the people who are guided and these are the people who are successful